So in this video, I'm going to show you how to check your emails, your business emails using Zoho, not just from the app, but you're going to check it from the desktop. Let's get right into it. All right. So the issue that's going on is in my previous videos, I've showed how to actually get a email address from Zoho to check your emails. I had a website that was called, not a website, an email that was called comprandom.com. And I think the email I had was info at comprandom. Comprandom means completely random. So comprandom.com. Um, now I'm checking my email from Zoho, which is cool. But the issue now that I have is, let's say I have multiple email addresses that I got from Zoho. I have info at comprandom.com. I might have another company that, that might be like support at comprandom or support at your domain name.com or you su or support at another email.com. Let's say if I have that, I can't actually check everything from my desktop. So I actually cannot like open a new tab and then go back. So if I was to go back to Zoho, so let me go to mail.zoho.com. So if I go to mail.zoho.com, it actually takes me back to the info at comprandom.com's email address. And comprandom means completely random. So info at comprandom. So I can't actually check it on multiple tabs like you can do on Gmail. But there is a solution to that. And the solution to that is to either check your phone by getting the Zoho, the phone app, which I showed on a previous video, or you can get the desktop version, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to open them. Actually, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to type in Zoho desktop app. So Zoho desktop app. So then you click on the first result that says download Zoho mail app for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So when you click there, I'm using a Mac. So it's automatically going to show download for Mac. However, if you use Windows or Linux, this will automatically pop up and say download for Windows or download for Linux. So you can actually scroll down and select the one for your operating system. But on the main image, which is known as the hero image, it detects what kind of computer you have and it will say download for whatever kind of operating system. So for me, it is Mac. So go to download for Mac. And then once I click that, if you have a, um, an Apple desktop, Apple laptop, it's going to ask you what type of chip, an Apple or Intel. I actually do not remember, but the way for me to know this is to go on the top left where the Apple sign is, click on about this Mac. And from there, it's going to hopefully say something. Apple M1 Pro. So it's a chip. So I'm going to go and click on Apple. Yours might say Intel, but mine's is Apple. I'm going to download this at the desktop right here. And once that download is done, I'm using Google Chrome so I can see all my downloads right there. So it's almost done. And now that is done, let me go ahead and click that. And sorry about that, let me actually pull this over here so y'all can see what's going on. All right, so this is for Macs. Windows computers, you know, it works the same way. Continue, install. It's going to ask me for my information, and I guess I got to put it in. So I was trying to use, uh oh, let's see, hopefully this works. All right, there we go. And it is going to download the file, and it's been successfully installed. Close, close that pop up. All right, so now I have it installed. I am going to open up my Finder, go to Desktop, and then go to, no, so I go to Applications. And then on applications, look for where it says, you should have it, look for disease. There we go, Zoho Mail Desktop. That's it right there. If you have a Apple computer, you can just click and drag this to the very bottom so it can go to your, I guess they call it your dock, D-O-C-K, your dock. <laughs> or you can just double click it and it will open the desktop version. So let me just reopen. You probably won't see this window. All right, so now y'all see that. So now it's going to ask me for my Zoho account. So I'm gonna go back to use info at comprandom, which was the email that I had, comprandom.com, and then they put my password in, and that's not the right password. So let me see what it is. All right, perfect. It's gonna ask me to secure my account using uh, multi-factor authentication. I'm gonna say remind me later for now. All right, so then it's gonna open the email right here. So I am back on Zoho email, just like how it was 
when I had my desktop version. So I can actually like close this. Not, not the desktop version, sorry, the browser version. So what I just closed right now was the Google Chrome browser version. I can even close that, but this is actually an application that is on your computer. That is what you just downloaded. So there's the phone application that I did in my previous video, and this is the computer application that is there, which is where I downloaded right here. Now I can check my email, I can send, I can receive emails, boom, boom. But where this is different than the other version that you have to go on Google Chrome or Safari or Firefox and check your Zoho email is that now I can go on the very top and where it says accounts, I can now add an account. And so now I can add a different account and I run a company called uh, Silky Mats. You should check that out, by the way. We sell um, baking mats that do not burn up to replace your parchment paper or aluminum foil. A little, a little plug there. All right, I am in, I'm in the game. So now I have now uploaded this right here. So this is a, another email. And if you can see on top, that is the email right there that I have for my brand. And now if I was to go to accounts again, I can actually go back to, I have multiple accounts, but I can go back to where it says the comp random info. And now I am back on the other account. As you can see, you can add multiple accounts here and you can click on manage accounts where you can delete accounts that you don't want to pull up. And then once you're done, you can just quit the app. And it's literally as simple as that. And I can reopen it again. And now it is back. So instead of you having to go, and let me actually, yeah, let me actually pull up the internets one more time. All right, so instead of you having to always go on you know, mail.zoho.com and you can only check one email at a time because if I open up a new tab and I went back to mail.zoho.com on the internet, it's gonna go back to the exact same email, which is for me, it's uh, info at comp random. So instead of me doing that, I can now use the desktop app for Zoho. And from here, I can sign in into one, add another account, and then from there, I can have multiple accounts that I can check all in one place. And that is it. So let me know what other videos that you want to see next. There's a lot of knowledge that I have when it comes to Zoho emails, but even not even that, e-commerce, drop shipping, and just human nature stuff and, and even tech stuff. So I'm gonna be making videos that's gonna be coming out. You guys take care and hit the subscribe button. My name is Victor Edeji, and I am out.